Welcome to your really fast sneak peek on how to use Virtualoon. When you sign into Virtualoon, they do have a, a free trial. If you are a member, then this will be a quick look for you. You're already a member. Um, the Virtualoon offer lots of templates and lots of very easy ways to make things. You can do arches, columns, flat arches. It's just incredible. At the moment, you can do a lot of the marquees and the yard art, and you can design those within this tool. We will quickly do something for you. I'll show you how easy this program is. We'll make a column. I'm going to make quite a small column. You'll notice up the top there are a number of colored buttons and when you move your mouse over them, uh, they open and close very quickly. If you want one of those files to stay open because they're pretty much like Windows, click on the top and click the green. You can have all of them open at the same time, but then you'll block your workspace and your workspace is the gray area down the bottom, down here. To the left, this is the library of balloons and there are more than 9,000 balloons in there. I'm not going to go through all of them, but you've got numbers, letters, foils, orbs, marbles, five inch balloons right up to cloud busters, which are massive. Um, there's everything in there, Qualitex, Anagram, and we also have uh, Batalic. We're hoping, well, we, the, the developers are hoping that Gemma will come on. I think that's how you say it because they have beautiful balloons as well. To create a column, click on this button here. Click on this to make it green. I'm going to put an offset of 50 centimeters here and 50 centimeters here. And I'm going to put a color because I find it easier to put my base color in. And I do scroll through the menu very fast, but that's because this is a very quick sneak peek. To get a balloon into this circle here, you must left click with your mouse and drag it across and let it go when it's covering and then click create. To use Virtualoon, you need to use Chrome. I'm going to make this smaller for the sake of today. 150 create. Uh, and you do need to have a mouse. You can use your computer, your laptop, but you will need to have a mouse with a scroll button to be able to scroll through things. Once I've done this, you can see I have my beautiful column there. You can change the colors and it's as simple as left click on the color and drag it across. Left click with your mouse and drag. There are many, many templates within the program where they are pre-designed and you just have to put your color in, choose the color that you like, but we will go through that on another video. But for today, just to show you what this does, that's how simple it is. You'll notice there are two columns. This is the back of the column. This is the front of the column. So make sure you design the back of your column as well. And there is a reason for that. And I will show you, and I sometimes mess this up. All right, that's where it will go there. So again, don't do what I did here. If I click on a balloon, it places it onto the workspace, but it's not actually part of this at the moment, the, the column. So to get rid of that, you use your left mouse button, double click on the red button and hit delete, and it will be removed. And I will remove this one as well. So left click twice on the white balloon, delete, okay. To put the white again, left click on the balloon you want to put across, and take it across. The fabulous thing about this program, I'm going to get rid of this now, is that it will give you a menu. So we're going to put a topper on it and we go down and we'll find something that we would like to put on it. Um, I think because it's an arch and everything in Virtualoon is to scale, I would like to put a love and wedding theme. Let's see what they've got there. Anything big? Oh, don't particularly want those ones. Um, foils. Let's have a look here. So we could put a love heart on it. Let's get a 36 foil printed. And you could pop that on the top. And you can see that this is just sitting on the top and it very much looks like it's just sitting on the top. I like to send those to the back. So you... I'll show you how you do that again. You will click on your foil, left click, get your cursor on the dot and move it across and tuck it in a little bit. 
and then to place it properly, left click and put object to back, object to back and OK. Now this is the back of it so you wouldn't have the foil you could have the foil on there and you could save it there and you could send that to a client so they could see what it would look like with two. Perhaps they want that for their wedding and I'm going to send that to the back, object to back, OK. And there you have a set of twin columns. To save this design in your computer, you go up to File Handling, Save Design, save it as Love Heart Columns and you save that and that goes into your downloads. I recommend you save that to a file on your computer and now I want to save it as a PNG to send to my clients. Again, I go up to File Handling, Save as PNG and there it is. It's huge. So you need to reduce the size of your page. There they are. Right click, Save Image As goes into your download file and it's ready to go. When you go into your download file, I recommend that you rename these straight away. So I'm going to show myself that in the folder. This saves as a PNG, which is fantastic. So it's got a transparent background and it's great if you want to add it onto a background. I'm going to rename that. Love Heart Column. And place that onto my desktop so that I can work with it later. And I'm also going to place the VIR file onto my desktop as well. Just onto the desktop. Get it out of my download file. And that is as easy. You know, I just don't think you can get much easier than that really. So let's have a look and see how long that took me. 6 minutes and 58 seconds. You now have a file that you can pull up at any time. Once you've saved your file, and you go back into Virtualoon, make the page big again. And I find that once I've saved my file, I need to reload it. So I'm going to reload the page. I'm going to reload my design. And I'm going to go to my desktop and find it. And there it is there. That's the VIR file. Virtualoon will only open VIR, uh, you can only open Virtualoon files, VIR files within the program here. Once this comes back onto your computer, you're going to see that it's too large for your desktop, for your working place. This grey area is your workspace, so you need to resize that. So we will make the width 5 metres and the height needs to be at least 3 metres and you hit resize. We need to make it a little bit bigger than that. Resize, maybe 350. Resize. You might want to change the colors of these. And this is where Virtualoon comes into its own. It's fantastic. So I'm going to create a color button. I'm going to right click on one of these pink balloons. Make sure you keep an eye on which one you're changing. Right click on the red button. And here you can see it says create color button. I'm going to click OK. Here's your color button. It always appears to the right and slightly lower of the button that you've clicked on. You right click on that and you drag it off the column. This is very, very important. You need to disengage this. Whenever you've got this square and these buttons highlighted, it means that that's a work in progress. If you don't disengage this button and you go to make another color button, it creates a glitch in the program. So you need to disengage. And the way you can do that is you can left click on it to disengage. Or if you have numerous buttons highlighted, you can go up to file handling and do reset design. And that will remove any color, any red and yellow dots. So we've got the pink balloon up there. We will now do a white color button. And we left click twice on the white balloon to highlight it. Left click twice and then we create color button. OK. And there's our color button. I'm going to move the color button to the side. You can also create a color button for the foil. So it's as simple as left click twice, left click twice, create color button OK. 
One of the things you need to be aware of is that you can only replace like for like. So if you have this size foil here, if you use the color button, you can only replace it with the same size foil. The balloons you can replace with different sizes, but you can't replace them with different shapes. Within Virtualoon, you've got looking at the top of the balloon, which is round, and you've also got a profile. For instance, here, let me pull up this. So you've got this shape. If I take this shape and place it over the pink button, it puts them there, but it's very odd. So like for like, I'm going to go back to the rounds and put the pink back. Right, so this is how easy it is if your client comes along and says they want something that say blue and red, you can grab a red balloon, you can grab a blue balloon, and they would like a heart on the top. Well, you can do that very simply. You go to your foil hearts, make sure it's the same size, 36 inch solid, and you can just grab one and replace it. And it changes it. If you want to change the heart for a star, you can do that even though you have a color button. You just need to delete this one. Keep in mind that once you delete it, the color button will no longer work. So I'm going to delete all of them. And now I'm going to put a star there. I've already saved my pattern with the heart within the Virtualoon program. So I know that I've already got that and we can put a star up. That's a 36 inch and you can pop that on. There you go. You can also put, uh, they've got super shapes. So if you wanted to put a super shape on there, you could. Uh, you can put cubes. Let's find a shape that we can put on there. Numbers are great. Uh, Batman, let's see what's in Batman. We'll get rid of that. Uh, how big is that? Now that would look awesome on the top. Give that to someone for their birthday. And you could put this on it as well. That would be a great present for somebody. And then you would change the colors of the balloons again. So this is just a very fast tutorial to show you what is a what what is possible. There are many many things that you can do within Virtualoon. Um, there's tutorials that you can buy. Uh, if you need help, you're more than welcome to contact me, and I'll help you if I can. There there are going to be training webinars. Get the best out of your Virtualoon files, your Virtualoon program, and we'll put yellow on there. There you go. You've got a Batman one. Hope that helps. All in all, twelve minutes. Excellent. Have a go. It's not hard and keep an eye out for the other videos.